prevention is all about how to keep the asterisk signs or how to keep those objective signs normal. You would have found that, let's use that example of that uh, gluteal muscle. The gluteal muscle was super tight. What are the ways to keep it normal? Exercising might be one way, but it might have been due to bad habits that had tightened up in the first place. It might have been posture. It might have been a different training regime. It might have been a different uh, shoe that the person or the runner is wearing. Whatever it is, you need to figure that out and you need to work out how to prevent it. Because prevention will ultimately help this person in the long term. <clears throat> when to return? You have to decide this. You are the scientist. As I said, you're the expert. So if you need the person to come back in two days' time, that's what you say. I need you to come back in two days' time because I need to check this, this, this and this. Okay? Um, I need to check back in one week because I want to check this, this, this. Or you say, I am really pleased with your treatment. I'm really pleased with how you're maintaining your uh, asterisk signs. I'm really pleased with how you're maintaining your objective signs. So... I don't need to see you for another six weeks. I don't need to see you until you start your training routine again. As soon as your training routine increases, then I'll start seeing you. Be open, direct, and you are giving reasons. This allows you to be the complete therapist. It allows you to be in control. It allows you to take this person from point A to point B. And um, people are, are very, very thankful for that because they are coming to you because they are, they are in the grey uh, zone, I like to call it. <clears throat> there's, there's being black and white. Uh, being black and white, it's a clear demarcation. Um, you know, you know uh, what is right or wrong. Being in the grey area, it's unclear. Okay? So you remove that, you remove that grey area, you remove that area that uh, is not, uh, it's very scary for a lot of people. So you remove that for them. You're the professional, you're the expert, you are the scientist, you are helping this person go from point A to point B. Point A is where they are now. Point B is what they want to achieve and what they want out of their life. So, we're coming closer and closer to the end of this lecture. <clears throat> the do's. The things that I'd like you to do. Back yourself, okay? Be a scientist and be the person that guides your patient. Be the person that is able to take them from point A to point B. The things that I don't want you to do um, would be, there was a lot of information there. There's a lot of new things that are there. And it can seem very over, overwhelming. Uh, but change one thing at a time. If you change one thing at a time, you're going to do a lot better. Just going back to this, I don't want you to change all of it all at once either because that being overwhelmed by it, uh, you can lose confidence, uh, you can lose uh, interest then, and then you're not as successful. Uh, with that information, there will be some things as I've spoken during the lecture, you think, oh wow, that makes a bit of sense. You know, There are some things that you go, oh my God, no, I don't totally understand that. I'd leave that out for now. Go with the one that you feel very comfortable with. <clears throat> what do you do next? The key things that I'd highly recommend, be objective, be very objective. Be objective in your subjective, be objective in your objective assessment as well. Measure it, measure it, measure it. Because if you have a measure, you will know how to improve it. Second is reassess 
uh, sorry, assess, reassess function during treatment. I want you to try and get 10 to 20% improvements after each session. And I'd like you to tell me about it too, because at the bottom of this video, there will be an area where you can um, post, post a comment. Um, I'd, I'd love for you to tell me all about how you're able to get this now. Okay? So, you want to assess and reassess function during treatment. And tell me how you go, and keep practicing. By all means, keep practicing. Tell me how you go, because I, I'd love to see you succeed, and I'd love to see you do well. When you are doing well, or even if you're trying, and you've got a few things on, and a few things are working, by all means, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear about it. The third thing I'd say to do next is to provide exercises with the six criterion that I, that I put out. Because that's going to complete you. You would be doing most of these other things uh, naturally, um, but the exercises would be the, the, cream, on the, cr uh, the cream on the cake, uh, per se. So, uh, hope, you, uh, hope you enjoyed that. So here we are at the end. Um, I'm very excited to have uh, uh, shared uh, the five basic elements to provide effective treatment um, in every, in every uh, situation for you, in, at every session, at every treatment for you. Um, as I said, start with the basics, start with the things that you feel comfortable with, and then implement all the others slowly. It does take a bit of time. Uh, implementing everything all at once can take anywhere between uh, 12 to 26 weeks, so three months to six months. Um, back yourself uh, and really enjoy the process. You're in such a um, humble profession uh, that helps make a difference to thousands of people because you might only be treating one person but the advice and the education you provide at the end can ultimately help others as well. So, uh, thank you to thank you for your time and thank you for listening to me. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, sharing more of these videos down the track. And um, uh, good luck with it all. And to please share your successes. I, I'd love to hear how you're travelling. All the very best.